Also für ein bestimmtes Hormon ist. Wenn für alle, wenn es für alle wäre, dann wäre der, könnte er ja nicht existieren. Dann ist es einfach nur eine Behinderung. Ich verstehe nicht, warum die dann sagen, das ja, ist ein Geschlecht, ja, das ist biologisch bewiesen. Guck mal hier, non-binary. Ich meine, richtige halt Intersex-Personen haben zum Beispiel sogar mehrere halt von verschiedenen Geschlechtern die Geschlechtsorgane gleichzeitig zum Beispiel. Ja. Also sowohl ein Penis als auch irgendwie so ein Uterus oder so, das, das passiert. Aber dann kann halt eine Intersex-Person genauso gut ähm, non-binary sein wie irgendwie eine ganz normale männliche oder weibliche Person. Weil das hängt halt nicht ab von biologischen Gründen. Oder genau. Oder das nicht von so also solchen doch. mit Hormonen. Das Ding ist, wenn du Transgender bist zum Beispiel, dann ist es ja so, du bist zum Beispiel eine Frau und hast einen männlichen Körper, dann hast du weibliche Hormone im männlichen Körper. Weil wenn du männliche, Körp äh, wenn du männliche Hormone im männlichen Körper hast, dann kannst du nicht auf einmal weiblich werden. Das, sonst würden Drogen ja nicht funktionieren. Wenn ja, Drogen irgendwelche Drogen Hormone aus... die Hormone weiblicher oder sowas, weiß ich, wie das funktioniert. Ja, sonst, ich meine... So, sonst würden Drogen nicht funktionieren, wenn es um Hormone gehen würde. Wir sind... Ich bin männlich, weil meine Hormone männlich sind. Und das, was ich im Kopf bin, ist ja scheißegal. Ich weiß auch nicht, warum das die Leute auf einmal interessiert. Ich fühle mich heute wie ein Stein und morgen wie ein Flugzeug. Apache-Helikopter. Außerdem, das Game ladet nicht. Ja. Also gerade hat bei mir das Ladezeichen fünfmal so schnell geladen wie sonst, aber... Mann. Ja. Sus. Pretty sus. Also wenn das Game noch ladet, bin ich überrascht. Irgendwie habe ich das Gefühl, jemand ist geliebt. Ja, wahrscheinlich Lena. Du hast die Toxic gemacht. Schön gemacht. Du hast ein Mädchen geärgert. Fühlst du dich jetzt gut, du Sexist, hä? Scheiß, Lena. Ey. Respektlos. <lacht> Man muss Frauen respektieren. Frauen sind Königin. Wir müssen für das einbüßen, was wir, ja, nee, du was unsere geliebt, Vorfahren gemacht haben. Bei mir steht, du bist geliebt, hä? Ach nee, Mann, was soll das? Nur weil ich sag, dass die Leute, die non-binary sind, behindert sind, Mann. Mann, Behavior. <lacht> ja, Match cancelled. Ach so. Lena hat geschrieben, gute Runde. Hat's <lacht> mal, <lacht> oder ich lock die Leute frisch ein. Kannst du mich einladen? Achso, nee. du musst erstmal aus deiner Ding rauskommen. Schreibst du gerade? Oh. Ja, dann hoffentlich eine, noch eine gute Person. True. Ich glaube eh, Lena wäre scheiße gewesen. Ja. Ich hatte so ein Gefühl. Ihr ja, Steam-Level war, glaube ich, richtig niedrig oder so. Hast du eigentlich The Rise of Skywalker gesehen? Huh? Lena hat mir einen Invite geschickt. Ähm. Wir können ihr joinen und wenn sie scheiße spielt, dann, dann liefen wir direkt nach der Runde. Ja, finde ich gut. Quarte, confirm, hallo. <lacht> hallo, hallo, confirm. <lacht> ich lade die mal jetzt ein. Ach. Okay, dann lade ich sie halt. Hä? Warum ist sie... Jetzt ist sie bei mir drin und du bist raus. <lacht> ich bin immer noch bei dir drin. <lacht> Was? Das war... Wow. Warte, ich liebe einfach. Hä, hey, ich kann ihn nicht lieben. <lacht> jetzt bin ich raus und du bist... <lacht> ich join dir, warte. Fucking... Da, Spiel beitreten. Nee. Hä? Okay. Moment, ich bin nicht in einer Lobby. Bei mir steht Vulkani joint the party, hä? Geh, geh du mal raus. Okay, warte, ich bin Lena gejoint. <lacht> ich hab halt... Okay, ich join dir. Bitte funktioniere. Das hat geklappt Lisa. bei mir. Ich bin... Also bei mir bist du nicht drin. Ach so, ja, halt's mal. Ja, es ist... Was ist denn los? Alter, ich glaube, Lena ist das Problem, wie gesagt. Sie ist Level 50. Äh, 
Lenas Freundin. Achso, Lena hat eine Freundin. Die, und die muss kurz das Spiel neu starten. Achso, das heißt, die ist jetzt nicht mehr in Game, oder was? Hä, hey, was ist denn mit dem Spiel los, Mann? Das heißt, Lena ist gerade nicht in Game. Nicht in der Lobby. Doch. Hä? Ihre Freundin aber nicht. Ja, aber ich bin... <lacht> Lobby ist kaputt, Mann. <lacht> Sag einfach, dass wir eine neue Lobby machen, weil sonst ich raste aus, Alter. Ich schreib dir einen Textchat oder auf Steam. Ja. Was heißt ja? Warum bist du? Nein, warum bist du gedieft? Ja, weil die Lobby für mich broken ist. Aber dann wir kommen doch bestimmt in ein Game. Warte, ich entweite ja, okay. dich einfach. Ja. Oh Mann, ah, scheiße. Ja, die Lobby ist immer noch am Arsch. Ach fuck. Hab bestimmt, hä? Ich kann dich sehen. Also bei mir bist du drin. <lacht> oh nein. Oh nein. Oh nein. Twitch Sky Mitei. Ach nee. Okay, Among Us. Tell me why. Amogus. Amogus. Scheiße, ich habe gerade wirklich Amogus gelesen. <lacht> Für einen Moment. Also der hat Missy. Twitch. 5454. Waren wir nicht mit einem Console Play in der Runde? Also da hat Lena ja. noch alleine gespielt und jetzt hat sie plötzlich. Warte, sind alle drin? Ich sehe nichts, wie gesagt. Ich sehe nur mich und Lena. <lacht> ah, jetzt sehe ich die Missy. Missy. Ach so, die ist eine Console-Playerin. Oh mein Gott. Oh nee. Aber die könnte auch wieder. Scheiße. Ja, machen die sich dann noch ready, oder? Ja, Lena anscheinend nicht. Ja. <lacht> Jetzt. Halt. Wir müssen, ja. <lacht> Cringe SJW Compilation. Alter, meine, ich muss wie mal wieder meine Discord-Freundesliste schön sauber machen. Das ist eigentlich immer ganz lustig, wenn man irgendwelche komischen Conversations schon vor zehn Jahren hat. Bei mir sind die immer, immer cursed. Ich habe kein, keine Lust darauf. Ich will nicht sehen, was ich geschrieben habe vor, vor vier Jahren. Doch, 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 das ist nein. Das ist Wie nein, nein, nein. Das ist, das ist doch geil. Damals, als ich noch unterentwickelter war als jetzt. <lacht> so, ich bin halt jetzt auf dem Level, auf dem ich vor drei Jahren hätte sein sollen. <lacht> I guess boys never grow up. <lacht> Women are just better. Oh mein Gott, <lacht> boys are yeah, just uh, quirky and special. In fact, women graduate school with a higher average degree because boys are boys. Boys will and, be boys. And women can walk in average, uh, in average, on average, five months earlier than boys. Mm -hmm. So why do women get paid less? Um, 
that's sexism right there? <lacht> da gibt es ja auch so eine Werbung, ich weiß nicht, ob du die kennst, aber so. Es ging um Equality und dann so, äh, but women need more. <lacht> und die argumentieren dann so mit, ja, nur weil Männer nicht wissen, wie sie sich ordentlich stylen können, heißt es das nicht, dass eine Frau mehr bezahlen muss, nur weil sie schönere Klamotten kauft. <lacht> Argumentation 100, Alter. <lacht> Das werde ich Also die Mitglieder der Bill ist auf PS4. Ah, jetzt sehe ich alle. Das ist nice. Das ist halt Scheiße, Bill. Wir können Fuck. den Bill basically wie ein Random treaten. <lacht> der muss für uns sterben. Obwohl am Ende wird der Random, der Scheiße ist, immer, immer überleben, komischerweise. Lena hat 300, über 300 Stunden DVD, das ist wenigstens etwas. Okay. Lena, wirst du uns in der Runde Hä, warum? Okay. <lacht> Was, hä, warum? <lacht> Ach nee, es hat schon mal Sekunden für Anfang. <lacht> ja, jetzt könnt ihr nicht mehr liefen, jetzt seid ihr stuck mit mir. Fuck, nein, Mann, ich will nicht mehr. Oh. Wir sind halt auch nicht gut, also. Halt's mal. Wir sind besser als nicht gut. Das zumindest. Wir ja, sind also okay, wir sind gut. Negative halt. Da bin ich wir sind schon. ein Step ins Negative. Auf jeden Fall werde ich mit der gleichen Argumentation kommen und meiner Mutter sagen, nur weil ihr nicht wisst, was eine Grafikkarte ist, also heißt es das nicht, ihr dass ihr... ihr könnt euch nicht auf mich verlassen, ich bin selbst nicht pralle. Scheiße, Mann. Ja, gut, ich habe geschrieben, wir sind auch scheiße. Also. Wir sind auf dem Nein, Mann. Level. Nein, sind wir nicht, du weißt es ja nicht, du weißt ja nicht, wie scheiße es ist. Ja, vielleicht, <lacht> du bist nicht scheiße, weil du kannst Flashlight Saves machen. Wow, das ich bin unterscheidet ein... mich. Es Argument geht ums Loopen im Allgemeinen. Tja. Ja, okay, ich meine, du bist... Ich, ja, ich denke schon, dass ich du ein bisschen nicht. schlechter im Loopen bist als ich. Aber manchmal ja. manchmal würde ich mich gerne selber umbringen, wenn ich das richtig hängt nice Moves mache. Situation ab. Ja, definitiv. Also einsichtige Loops habe ich kein Problem, das ist klar. Aber das ist ja auch einfach, das kann gefühlt jeder. Ja, das kann ein Kleinkind. Das kann ein Kenneck, ein Keko. Ich habe bei meiner Kamera das so eingestellt, dass das Dateiformat am Anfang vor, oh, vor diesen ganzen Zahlen... Kann. Ja, ich sehe es. Verfolgt er dich? Ja. Ach nee. Never Ach, Lin oh. Ich äh, werde wohl mein Flashlight Safe preparen müssen. Ich, ich habe das Spiel, glaube ich, zu laut gemacht. Ich höre dich schlecht. Was nicht so gut ist. Ja, mach mal Flashlight Saves. Vielleicht wird dann Lena deine Girlfriend. True. Dann hast du nicht Minecraft Girlfriend, sondern DBD Girlfriend. Yikes no. Girlfriend. Also das Spiel ist immer noch zu laut. Ja, auf jeden Fall, ich habe bei meiner Kamera das Dateiformat so gemacht, dass vor den Zahlen... Nur leise. Ich Ach komm, ist es denn ernst? Ich will nicht näher an mein Mikrofon ran. Das ist unnatürlich. Ich weiß halt nicht. Ich denke, es könnte ich sein. <lacht> Lena hat geschrieben, dann wird die Runde ja lustig. Also zu dem, wo ich geschrieben habe, wir das ja scheiße ja. sind. Uh! 
<lacht> das war nicht. Das war nicht unknapp. Egal, ich lupe wie ein König. Also Killer-Scheck zu lupen habe ich jetzt richtig drauf, würde ich sagen. Zumindest gegen einen Killer, der jetzt nicht göttlich gut ist. Ja, zumindest gegen einen schlechten Killer. Wow, das, das habe ich fucking effizient gespielt. Oh, sie hat die Pallet weggena weggenatzt. Das ist schön. Das hat mich überhaupt nicht erschreckt, dass der... Alter, mein Herz klopft. <lacht> also ich denke, solange es nicht True Talent ist, kann ich auch killer Shack lupen. Oh, ist True Talent gut als Killer? Ja. Ist Oder wie heißt der andere Typ? Otstarver. Ja, Otstarver. Not Otstarver ja. meine ich natürlich. Ja, Not Otstarver, genau. Not Otstarver. Nicht Otstarver. Ich weiß Otstarver. auch gar nicht, wie man Otstarver das ausspricht. Ist scheiße, aber Not Otstarver ist richtig gut. Oder ist es Otstarver im Englischen? Keine Ahnung. Einfach Otz. Ich weiß Otz. noch nicht, warum du so leise bist. Ich kann Ach, das Spiel ich leiser machen. Aber, aber wenn ich das Spiel leiser mache, wirst du irgendwie immer noch nicht lauter. Ja, das ist, weil du das Spiel leiser machst und nicht mich lauter. Big ja, Brain. du bist aber... Ist Lena schon wieder down? Da ist ja schon der Console Player besser. Alter, ich hab das Flash, den Flashlight Safe nicht bekommen. Och man, du bist so scheiße. Aber Bill hat eine Pride Flag an seinem Arschloch. Nice. Hm, nice, ja. Political messages are... Dann spielen wir mit den perfekten Leuten. Alter, Bill, ja. Please block mich. Oh, komm her. Hey, komm her. Komm her, Bill. Komm. Geh mich. Du kleine Schlampe. Wahrscheinlich ist es so ein 13-jähriges Mädchen, das einfach nur Spaß am Abend haben will. <lacht> also den Kaugen, ich muss... so ein 13-jähriges Mädchen, was halt das einfach in einem Video gesehen hat mit Pride. <lacht> ja, okay. Okay. Komm, ich glaube an dich. Oh, Maschallah. So, Lol. jetzt. Alter, war das eine Geburt. Das ist schon der vierte Flashlight Self, der so richtig cursed ist. Also, irgendwie immer kann man einfach nicht am Anfang retten. Sondern man blendet einmal, so, so wie ich das bei dir sehe. Dann funktioniert das einfach nicht. Ja, und da muss man es nochmal tryen. Try me, bitch. Ich glaube, sie wird gleich wieder gefickt. Das lasse ich nicht zu, weil ich, ich will sie ficken. <lacht> weil du bist das Girlfriend-Material. <lacht> Girlfriend-Material, yes. Okay, komm, komm, schaff du. Pick up, pick Make up, pick up. Make her your girlfriend. Make her my wife. Hello. Hello Next. there. What are you doing? Oh yes, that's an angle. We're doing great, I believe. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, how are you doing? Well, fine. Oh shit. Fine? Dead that's... by daylight. That's yes. Fine. Do you dead by daylight? <laughs> well, no, I'm 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 afraid I don't. <laughs> okay. That's unfortunate. I guess it is. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> probably. 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 Wahrscheinlich. Wahrscheinlich. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I see. Well, Austria. Uh, wow. Well, well, warum sprechen wir dann Englisch? Uh, oh. Probably. <laughs> Okay, also <lacht> Mississippi hängt. Nee, nicht Mississippi. <lacht> können wir Deutsch reden? Können wir, können wir. Nee, das kann man mit dem Österreicher nicht ums Österreicher sprechen. Wo, wo gibt es ein fucking Gen? Das, das wäre auf jeden Fall nur adäquat, <lacht> wenn ihr euch jetzt eine Sprache anpassen würdet. Das ist wundervolles Österreichisch, dass ihr das sprechen, mein Kamerad. Ich kann einfach kein Gen finden. Schön. Seitdem ich nicht mehr beim Bundesheer bin, meine ich aber bitte keinen Kamerad mehr hören. Bundesheer? Ach, Mann. Wieso hast du Flashbacks? 
Ja, ja, das sind die Vietnam-Flashbacks. <lacht> Vietnam <-Flashbacks. lacht> das waren wilde Zeiten, kann ich euch nur sagen. Ihr seid beide aus Deutschland. Ja. Ich kann euch das nur empfehlen. Freiwillig zur Bundeswehr gehen, kann ich, definitiv eine tolle Entscheidung. Ja, ist es freiwillig, wenn ich es fürs Geld tue? <lacht> für die Vergünstigungen? <lacht> Kämpft für das Vaterland, meine Kameraden. Natürlich. Für das Vaterland. Vaterland. Absolut richtig. Solange ja, wir genug Waffen richtig. in andere Länder exportieren, um den Krieg anzufeuern. Ich meine, die Bundeswehr hat nichts damit zu tun, das ist jetzt einfach nur was Separates. Bin ja, ich froh, dass wir unsere demokratischen Werte so hoch stechen. Hm. Also Als die Demokratisierung EU. anderer Länder war schon immer ein gutes gute Hobby. <lacht> das machen die Arme ist zwar besser, aber trotzdem grundsätzlich eine gute Idee. Sehr ja. löblich. Also der Jen poppt jetzt. Alter, der will mich einfach... Uh, nice. Ja. Habe ich es gesagt oder nicht? Jo, sicher. <lacht> Das ist jetzt aber nicht österreichisch, das ist schwäbisch. <lacht> <lacht> da kenne ich mich leider nicht aus. <lacht> Nein, dialektische Sprache. Muss ich ganz ehrlich, ehrlich sein? Ich auch nicht. <lacht> <lacht> ja, also ich bin raus. Ich habe den einfach mal erfolgreich geloopt für... Drei Minuten fast. Ja. Ich habe mitgezählt. Ich habe in Minuten Längen gezählt. Oh, ich dachte, er kommt jetzt. Ach du Scheiße, das hätte mir Angst gemacht. Ja, du kannst übrigens den Stream anschauen für Kontext, gell? Hm. Ah, ich bin da im Hintergrund gerade am Lesen, aber danke für, für, für das. Was liest du? Um, einen Blogartikel. Von? Uh, Patrick in ein Packy McCormick. Über Moment, Moment, was haben wir dann? Um, compounding crazy. Everything is mo moving so fast out there. What if it's just getting started? Ich glaube, das ist jetzt nicht sehr aussagekräftig, aber Nein. Ich nicht, dass das was macht. Ich glaube, da bräuchte ich mehr Kontext. <lacht> um, es geht um, um The Law of Accelerating Return um, beziehungsweise DPU, was so viel heißt wie Verzeih mir, ich muss suchen. Die Progress Unit. Die das Zeit, die man braucht, um jemanden aus äh, um, um nein, die Zeitspanne, die zwei Menschen aus unterschiedlichen Zeitspannen brauchen würden, um vor Schock in der neuen Zeit zu sterben. Das ist, ist sehr spezifisch. Es soll sein Maßstab für technologische Innovation sein. Ah, also dass Menschen, ähm, dass, also so wie ich es verstanden habe, man bemisst, also, wie, viel, ready, ja, wie viel Fortschritt es bräuchte, damit Menschen ähm, in Konfrontation mit dem Fortschritt daran sterben würden. Ja, so auf die Art, also wenn man also, sagt... Jemand aus, den 17, aus dem 17. Jahrhundert wäre zu Tode schockiert, wenn, man, wenn er jetzt an der heutigen Zeit ohne Kontext reingeworfen werde. Mhm. Aber jemand im 17. Jahrhundert müsste jemanden aus dem, weiß ich nicht, 1000, weiß ich nicht, oder 1100 oder sowas holen, damit er äh, das Gleiche erfährt. Und der in 1100 müsste jemand, weiß ich nicht, 2.000, 3.000, 4.000, 4.000 vor Christus holen und so weiter und so fort. Also es wächst exponentiell. Ah. Und ja. woher, ich meine, das ist eine sehr spezifische und abstrakte Idee, was hat das für einen Sinn? Ja, grundsätzlich ist das, äh, glaube ich, eine Idee äh, bezüglich Wirtschaftswachstum und technologischen Fortschritt der Menschheit. Da also ist ein Beispiel von, von Wagniskapitalgebern. Und wenn man sich dann nur zur Schau stellen, wie wir uns entwickeln damit? Mhm. Okay. Ja, ja, genau so auf die Art. Ich meine, ich habe auch mal, ich meine, das ist, wahrscheinlich denkt jeder mal an dem Punkt im Leben darüber nach, wie ist es, wenn jetzt eine Person von 
vor über 150 Jahren in unsere Zeit kommt. Aber ich habe ja komisch gewesen sein. Ich habe mir nie gedacht, dass es, ich sag mal, symmetrisch zu unserem technologischen Fortschritt in die andere Richtung geht. Also wenn du jetzt sagst, die holen sich eine Person aus der, ne, wie du gesagt hast, dass sie an dem Schock sterben. Mhm. Es braucht immer mehr Zeit, weil der Fortschritt ja immer langsamer war. Aber es macht Sinn, weil unser Fortschritt ist exponentiell, also müsste es auch in die andere Richtung dann so sein. Ja, eigentlich ja. macht es Sinn. Ja. Hello, Jay. Hello there. Jay. Who is a PhD in PhDing? Oh, it's a PhD in Peach Dying. <lacht> <lacht> Clearly you don't have a PhD in Grammar then. Yeah. <lacht> well... I actually do physics, but, but that's fine. Yeah, you, I yeah. can tell. Thanks. <laughs> Bruh. I appreciate it. All physicists are socially awkward. Yeah. Hmm. Is that true? Yeah. I should Press X to doubt. <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> F, F in the chat, bitte. So, I don't know if you're into that, but we're talking about the theory of... The theory? I don't know. You, you explain it. The Austrian guy. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. The okay. Austrian guy. Yeah, me is the Austrian guy. We're talking about um, DPU, aka um, Die Progress Unit, uh, also known as... Let me scroll through the article. Law of accelerating. Um, like, we are talking about the exponential acceleration of technological evolution. Okay. Yeah, yeah basically that. So it's nice. And the theory of the dying stuff, that part was about what time would it take humans, like, If you take a human from 150 years ago and put it in the time we're in right now, would this person die of contextless experience of um, progress? Uh, pro okay. pro progress. Yeah. Did I interrupt a weed session by any chance? Oh, sorry. no, no. Uh, weed? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't smoked for about two years. I, I thought about getting a drink, but then I realized it's already like past 11 o'clock. It's a bad time <laughs> to start drinking today. So I'm just eating noodle salad and, and reading crazy shit on the internet. <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah, I like that sort of stuff. So what's your degree? You know. Tell me more about it. Well, you know, I like uh, enrolled this year and I haven't been at, to class a single day because it's actually starting in October. So. But I'm a physics student, so yeah, that's that. Okay. Yeah. Any reason why? No. What about why? What do you mean? What do I like about why? Like, uh, why what? Like, why I study physics? Why? Or... Yes. Why I study physics? <laughs> oh yeah, like uh, I like technical stuff and I like like thinking about the world and This like map. try my best to understand it so it's nice I thought about electrical engineering and stuff but yeah I, I wanted totem. something more like I lost all respect for you no respect I've lost all respect for you now you said you wanted to do engineering I've lost all respect why I just have That's you mentioned engineering, and I have lost all respect. You, See, I thought I, I thought I found a fellow physics student, but now I just no. I I yeah. I, I jumped so, the gun. I, I, oh, you're you're studying physics. Yes. Yeah, so actually, I'm doing engineering physics. So um, oh, well, that's yeah. that's even worse. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, man. Wow, well, you know he's racist. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm a theoretical physicist. I'm allergic to people like you. Theoretical physicist. Ja, yes. So you're more like it's getting worse, I, I guess. But but I, I think we're on sort of the same wavelength. But like, no, we're not. Like 700 nanometers. <laughs> you're a sine wave, and I'm a cosinus or something. 
I How did she not hit me? Because she has um, dyspraxia. Yeah. Okay, well, um, so how's theoretical physics going? It's going all right. Just um, making a new theory of gravity, like you do. Oh, that, that sounds yeah. fucking... Yeah, general relativity is a real uh... <laughs> General relativity is boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go for some um, super general relativity, you know? That oh, again. sounds really awesome. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I have no clue about that stuff, about to be the next I, I hope I will learn. Do you not know anything about cosmology or gravity or Einstein? Like, like basic, uh, like, what's it called? High school physics. You only know high school physics. Obviously. Wait, do you do that? You just, you just keep disappointing me more and more. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this dude is scary first! And now he's just scary. So, okay. but but we but we have to we both have to admit, uh, engineers are like the better physicists. <laughs> the fact that you call engineers physicists concerns me greatly. <laughs> I'm sorry. On a genuine on a genuine level, you just what is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> How am I supposed to take that statement? Well, I, I just wanted to offend you. You know, I got some uh, engineering background, and therefore, I like. Yeah, was a little offended. What do you want to do? Build bridges or something? Oh, nice. No, like <laughs> particle accelerators and and like fusion bombs and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, you want to you want to cause a nuclear holocaust? Well done, then. Well done, mate. Well, and rockets and like <laughs> and oh, so rockets <laughs> to for the nukes. Is that ICBMs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to create hypersonic missiles? Is that what you're saying? Hypersonic well, nuclear missiles, missiles to be exact. <laughs> and and like stuff like Dyson spheres and stuff. If we're getting into this, Dyson spheres. You think we, as a as a society, are going to build Dyson spheres? The next, well, you know, not like, like, like not, not in the like next, tomorrow, definitely but not with the maybe. word next in it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're guessing, just add a zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, zero years. <laughs> That's at zero. Yes. Huh? Go on, I tell you. Um, what was that up to? Zero. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm surprised that you're in the basement. Yes. What university? What university are you going to? Me? Yeah. Well, uh, the technical university of Vienna. Like, I'm Austrian, so that makes sense, I guess. Right. MIT didn't want me, so I have to do with that. <laughs> of course, they wouldn't. They wouldn't want an engineer, do it? They Big camping. Yeah, I guess so. But it's like engine. It's like yes. Uh, in, what's it called? I'm the, I have no clue. But yeah, because like, it's an engineering school, so your brain short circuiting. You didn't account for this, did you? Oh, I didn't. I lost my fuses. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. How ironic. Is it? How ironic. <laughs> Yeah, wow. you're pretty fucked in the basement there. For an electric... I am. Okay. Yeah. What are you trying to do here? Oh, fuck me. Me? What? This Vikani guy. What are you trying to do here? On this server or channel? Or oh, in fuck. Anything in life. Go on. How you tell me your life story? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well. I oh, he, doubt he's coming back. that's something I can... No, no, I can wait. I can wait. Come Compress on. into. No, no, I got time. Okay. Well, T tell me anything. No, really, I'm no, not feeling you like it is. Decide. You, you it... tell me right now your life story. Where were you born? T tell me yours first, please. No, tell me where you were born. <laughs> man, <laughs> man your... you're you're really ex aggressive about this stuff. I, I don't. F physicists should be like that ag aggressive. That's like. No, no. You should like relax and watch the experiments go like more in the background. Experiments? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Your shit. Excuse theory. me. I, I, I'm sorry. You should, you should you should sit in the background and think about stuff. I'm actually offended. Oh, okay, I see that. But at least you're a physicist. Imagine and being offended in 2021. <laughs> True. Me too, what? guys. Me too. Hashtag me too.
<laughs> Hashtag, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what? So what? What do you want to say now? I've never like it's good that you clear cleared up that you're an engineer because I th I really thought that you were like a normal no no have a normal physicist. Oh no. I, I want like oh, to I'm do fucked. like practical stuff. And like actually enhance the life of people, you know. Do you know okay okay okay, okay Mr Mr Smart Mr Goody Two Shoes. <gasps> It has a lot for people. Okay, you cut the crap, why don't you? <laughs> the other things you'll be enhancing is your already destroyed sleep schedule. Bro. Well, uh, please repeat, I didn't understand you due to, like, background. The only thing you'll enhance is your virgin status. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's quite offensive. But Yeah, um, I hope you get offended. Uh, well, to offend you back, you know, like your <laughs> new fury of uh, gravity offended, probably offend won't see uh, save a single life. So there is that, and probably won't change a single life. Jokes, but it's nice. my, my theory of gravity, or you just, or you just see gravity in general. Well, probably gravity in general is really all. Jokes on you. Gravity keeps you grounded. <laughs> Checkmate, Liptard. There's not even any such thing as gravity. I'm based really your cringe. Status. We're done. <laughs> Man, you're really offensive. Supe? What's Supe doing? Supe. <laughs> Supe. Uh, it's soup. Supe. Oh okay. How did that not hit? I'm astonished. How dare you? How, How dare, dare you say those things? No, no. you can kill me. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Nothing. Um, Alright. Oh, fuck. So what am I doing here, then? Um, oh, nice. What do you want to talk about? I was looking for uh, a genuine colleague to speak upon the... Uh, the benefits on the, uh, the frick. Yeah. To speak about yeah. physics with, but I, alas, I, I found no one smart that's enough. True. I mean, but you know, that's because everyone is like um, lonely in this world. True. It's not because I'm an engineer or a physicist or nothing at all. It's because you're not dying someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm. I actually identify as an Apache Kampf. Uh, as a Kampf. Kampf. <laughs> that, that was way too too Apache German. Kampf. It's, it was, <laughs> it's my Kampf, you know. Wow. Okay, hang on. Whoa. That turned. I certainly would not like you saying those things. Bill. Uh oh. Fucking physicists always think they are better. But we are better. In what regard? <laughs> uh, regard. So you call yourself an engineer? Name every bridge. <laughs> Just tell me every atom in the universe. <laughs> by name, by name. Okay. And that's a chemist's job, that's not my job. That reminds me of Oh, you're you're a black per you think black lives matter? Name every black person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, Tyrone. There you go, done. Oh, fuck, I'm fucked. <laughs> okay. You're fucked. I mean, atoms are easy, but position and velocity. <laughs> I can name every atom. Atom 1, atom 2, atom 3, atom 4, atom 5. You forgot about oh. John. <laughs> yeah, that's true, obviously. Atom number 5 is John. Yeah. <laughs> You had a bit of a terrible home life, I won't lie. <laughs> you know, ma mama, mama Atom's not really been treating him well. Like he's actually in child bit. custody right now, you know? I mean, he's actually in a... He's <laughs> actually in a uh, foster care right now. <laughs> oh, Atom no. 4, yeah. Honestly, Atoms don't use an American system, so 
obviously there's no foster care. <laughs> obviously, okay. because they would use a metric system, therefore they use a European social uh -oh. system, so there won't be any uh, way... European social system. Marktwirtschaft. <laughs> Die soziale Marktwirtschaft. Uh, Baumkuchen. 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 It's a. No, it's Baumkuchen. Baumkuchen. Would you, Baum would you kindly try to pronounce Ochkatzelschwarf? The fuck? Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> say that. Yeah, oh, how, how do you spell that? You well, uh, as you say it, like Och, Katze, as you say it, like, like you say it, like you say it, as you do. Yes. E. That makes two answers. Well, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I'm sorry. I I think we can't be friends. That's unfortunate. You said we could be. You don't know physics, yeah. so we're not, you know, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're the polar opposite. Yeah, we are. You experimental scum. Yeah, you theoretical scum. snob. See, this is the difference between an experimental fan versus a theoretical enjoyer. <laughs> a connoisseur. <True. laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there's the hatch. hatch. Yes. Yeah, boy. Time to stay with Bill. Yeah, boy. And now it's boy. time to die. What is his name? Freaking British. Sorry? British. British. British, British English. Is that, is that his uh, name? Yes. My... Is that her uh, name? Yeah. <laughs> I. Oi. I. You call this Christmas. So Christmas. 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 Is it? Yeah. Mr. Mr. American. Mr. 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 American. What time is it? Mr. Mr. American. Did you just call me Mr. American? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you call me Mr. American. <laughs> you just... Uh, I call you Mr. 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 American. You just triggered his inner spirit of Briti British itty. <laughs> uh, you actually said, did you actually just call me Mr. American? Or is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> <laughs> I believe he actually meant that. <laughs> Dear Lord. I, I did, I did. Jesus Christ. See? Oh, no. How easily you can offend people? <laughs> no, that's, 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 not, that's not even... That's, that's just pitiful at this point. Uh, kind of like defense the face of picture. Cringe. <laughs> Have you handed in your local political dissident today? Um, what? what? Have you <laughs> handed in your local political dissident today? Mm. Can you elaborate, I don't, please? I don't speak Spanish. Sorry. <laughs> you're cool. oh, just plainly stupid. That's, I, was, I believe I that's more... was English only. That's more Latin than... Um, what did all, you say? I'm speaking Latin, okay, so it's fine. <laughs> the, these aren't complicated words, gentlemen. Gentlemen? Yes, oh, but you put them together in a really complicated way. So nobody can understand. Local Hello, guy. political dissident. You know what's the worst part about not having Groovy anymore? Having I felt like I can't not having Groovy anymore. Gr gravy? Groovy. Groovy. Yeah, oh, yeah, the the boss. Ah, gravy. Yes. What is it? Yeah, it's gravy. That's what I was like. Groovy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I can't play. I can't play Vine Boom signs at random uh, intervals for one hour anymore in Discord chat. I mean, you can imagine them. Boom. You're, you're a physicist, like a theoretical. You have to think about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine it in your head. It will work out. Just imagine boom sounds. Yeah, you don't need that, like, that real life stuff. Okay. The real life stuff. <laughs> the real life stuff. Yeah, I don't need the real life stuff. I think you're getting uh, mixed up with the this is, Okay. This is how gamers talk. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> the guy is just like... He's being retarded. <laughs> he's being British. He's farming uh, with us. Being yeah, British. The killer is being very British. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Oof. Jesus no, Christ, are you not. American or something? Sorry? Are you American <laughs> or something? No. Yes, yes, yes. Are you? 999, nine, nine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is your name Maxwell? You don't deserve to be called Maxwell if you don't even know basic electromagnetism. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Shameful. Max, Stop you, posing you. as what you aren't. No, Wait, what's this like, guy want fake it from till me? You make Get it. out of here. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> fake it till you make it. <laughs> Don't well, I you... don't understand Maxwell equations, but at least I can spell his name. So that's well. a win-win in my case. <laughs> Do you know his full name? Yeah, of course, James Clark Maxwell. Oh, okay, okay. The great. <laughs> the great. In like Penny Paper <laughs> games. Actually, it's James Clark Maxwell the third, but okay. Oh no! Stop <laughs> posing, man. So, what's the exact math on pedophilia? The math and pedophilia. <laughs> that sounds like a topic for a theoretical physicist. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it statistic-wise. How many people are actually under that category? Uh, well, I don't think that the statistics are quite... I don't know. Right, so you got, you got Call Me Carson. you got EDP445. <laughs> you got Mini Lads. You got potentially paracynical, right? You got They're all pedophiles. <laughs> yes, to some extent. <laughs> to some extent. Yes, that's very precise. <laughs> Why the I mean, fuck? It? Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know that many I pedophiles. How many people I've met? Sorry. I wonder how many people I've met. That that's could a pedophile. Be. Yeah, hmm. exactly. Uh, all of them. Everyone. I mean, yeah, we're, all, we're, all, we're all potential, potential feeder files. We just have a latent. You just need to unlock the potential. Exactly. Could is always a thing. If a human is capable of doing something, they could do everything or anything. Yes. <laughs> it's just the question of anything um, is possible if you set your mind to it. Well, yeah. I exactly. definitely couldn't split an atom like with my bare hands now in this second. So it's, you can. I think it's well, more I like think so. it's called the bomb. Okay, it's Just called nuclear sounds... energy. Yeah. Don't be exactly. so Do it with your extreme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like wrestle atoms. Just because you like to think about stuff <laughs> doesn't mean you have to think about the worst case. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I have a question for the physicist here. Right, go on. You think you're better than religion, like? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never said that. All right. Yes, physics is better than God. <laughs> of course. Sorry. What what this is not my area of expertise. You have to ask the philosopher for that one. I think for a lot of phys well, physics is God. Obviously, a physicist has to study philosophy because physics is the. Um, manifestation. I don't know if that's the English manifestation. Word, okay, manifestation. Thank yeah. you. Of natural philosophy in a in a broadened sense, I guess. But God, the way he's described in the Bible or in the Quran, or in uh, the Torah. If God is an entity, God doesn't exist. If God is just the sum of things that exist, God exists, I guess. <laughs> but then it's okay. not like a conscious entity, so. Yeah, in exactly. the way like he's described in religion, he doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. I know. Ask, ask Zorbia, why don't you ask him? Oh, don't. Why, why does anything exist in the first place? Because screw you. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Like, come on, like that's like... beyond human comprehension. We can't even bullshit our way to an answer. Anything yes. that we come up with just fundamentally doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because yes. we're pathetic human beings, we're not supposed to understand things like this. Well, that's that's yeah. the mystery of existence. I don't if... believe it's supposed, I just believe it's the way we're... I mean, I think there is no physical... It's it's just the... When I mean, it's the 21st century and people are getting addicted to hentai, do you think people are going to find out <laughs> the meaning of life that easily? Okay, okay, guys. I, I, think so, I, yeah. I know... Yeah, think I about think it. Right. Like... Things are not that capable, right? A meaning yeah. is to like procreate. All we yeah, can do is procreate, and that's it. That's all we were meant to do. 
All right. Pretty Look, great. Doesn't yeah. sound that bad, actually. So. <laughs> I yeah, mean, just... our biological meaning, our biological function is to procreate. We're like machines designed to survive yeah. and like continue We're not our species. To... Thinking is quite good as well. We're not designed to find the meaning of life. Yeah, yeah. come on, stop being a stupid. We're just designed to live design, on the rock. Or is it? Or is Sorry? it just? Is it about design, or is it actually like? Yeah, consciousness is about the design. It's about design that came from an accident. Yes. Like a be. natural system just like evolving of like complex molecules. We yeah. technically can say in a way. But, but that's... what we should, of course, the main thing we should focus on is what caused that accident in the first place, which is matter existing, which is like came from the Big Bang, which we have no idea why the Big Bang even happened. Right, that's everything, like the question. Everything <laughs> beyond existence. Is something we can we can't comprehend, even if there is a way to explain it. Exactly, and that's why we return to entities such as God to explain yeah. it, because we can't. Yeah, which the way. I find strange, because like you should just accept you don't have the answer and maybe continue working in like fields like yeah. science, but like not yeah, just, ma just make an assumption yeah, which you which nothing suggests is the case. Third, like, you have to At least you, can't you can. Everything. You can make an assumption, just don't live your life with the assumption. Okay, yeah, you can just like, make a just, theory, like just... simulation theory, like just for yeah. fun, but like don't make it like yeah. there's no way don't to don't like, actually it's find like, out whether it's real. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's the main, that's just don't be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. I don't care if you believe that what cancer... What does it mean to be an asshole? I don't care if you believe that cancer is your soulmate. Just don't be... Just... Cancer is great. Or, Cap well, or, Cap or right. Capricorn is you. Voltaic, it's an, a question of, uh, of perspective, of course. Just don't... Just don't be an idiot, alright? Well, like, what if your society deems you to be an asshole for doing something... Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. What if your yeah, society what... deems you to be an, a morally righteous person for doing something that other people would assume to be an asshole move? Well, yeah, a lot of things depends upon like societal perspective. So. Like, yes, the society. I, I, is... I would the... say that the Aztec Empire really liked their priests, even though cutting open and removing the heart of a living person is widely considered an asshole move. Yeah. Well, asshole is pretty subjective, <laughs> yeah. that's why... That's one way of describing it, I guess. It's always ethics, and uh, ethics emerge uh, from yeah. what is acceptable in a, in a huge amount, or between a huge amount of people. No, what I would say, don't take values to... Any values to be too absolute and too excess. I mean, that, that thing that would... I'm a, Where did that guy come from? Jeez. Where? Jesus freaking Christ. Damn. Yeah. An absolute mad lad. So you're what? An absurdist? A nihilist? A nihilist? You said a nihilist. Nihilist. A nihilist. A nihilist. I'm a nihilist. American or British? Uh, press ready. Really. Which country uh -huh. are you? British? American? Britain? I thought you were British, <laughs> not American. Yeah. My philosophy yeah. is a cheeseburger. <laughs> Where are you people from? I mean, it's Atom, so that's right. Like, basically, my country starts with the U and ends with the K. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Idiot can't even spell his own country's name. Juan. It's Uk. I come from the land of Uk. <laughs> <laughs> the land. At least I don't come from the land of Usa, okay? Uh, Usa. <laughs> I have come from the land of Kanuk. Can what? What's what? Kanuk. Kanuk. I don't think my Kanuk my translation was right. Oh, yeah, oh, it I wasn't. See. You didn't yeah. translate, I guess. Yeah, but it's so, my best. Wait, what is? So, where are you from? Vol Voltaic? Kanukistan. Where is that? Uh, can what Kentucky? Kentucky yeah, Fried Chicken. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. You, can't be, you can't be from a, a franchise, well, silly. Man. Come on. Done. Well, I mean, Kentucky oh, hell, is a state, isn't it? Guys, I'm from Burger King. Canada, come on. 
Knock is okay. ten. Ah, Knock. everything makes sense now. Or you eat yeah. from under maple syrup, maple syrup. Ma- ma- you know, one of the largest heists in Canadian history was like eighteen million dollars worth of maple syrup. Yeah, what? yeah. Great Why would you mention it like that? Sounds very Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> they actually they actually stole maple syrup. So yeah, so that's why they measured it as maple uh, syrup. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that they then just decided. Okay, so we're gonna decide to change our currency to maple syrup. No, they didn't do that. <laughs> They just generally stole maple I'm sorry, syrup. I'm sorry, but America or Canada, that's a whole yes. different thing. They used to measure things in some metrics that I, that nobody yeah, will we, ever understand. We measured... um, pretty oh, much. Yes, Fahrenheit, 32 degrees, that makes sense. Like that, yeah. Please don't call it metrics, please call it... When it comes American to measuring bodies, we use... Uh, Hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hamburgers per millimeter of blood. <laughs> the density of a hamburger. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, steel is about uh, 10 uh, pickup trucks <laughs> per kilometer. <laughs> I, I think you'd use uh, calorie density. In <laughs> yes. Five uh, Happy Meals per uh, <laughs> centimeter. How many kilowatts of hamburger? The, atom- <laughs> the atomic density of a burger. That- <laughs> that, that is a valid. Uh, that that is kind of valid. Yeah, you can measure it is. your cheeseburger. I mean, energy kilowatt. is energy, so if it is oh, yes. valid, five hamburger cheese per kilowatt hours. How <laughs> many kilowatt hours cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> it's too dry. Yeah. So without the lamb <gasps> sauce. <laughs> Okay, so, so how how much energy does your lamp take? Well, twenty five point nine hamburgers per terawatt. You mean country, hour. right? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. The national GDP is about uh, five thousand. <laughs> <000, laughs> My lamp takes least. twenty yeah. hamster wheels. <laughs> it's about five point. It's about te- two point three Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking map! In what category? <laughs> <laughs> like national military uh, budget is at two point five million masks. <laughs> oh, you mean money? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> GDP, right? No, GDP. Oh, GDP. Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't Blake. know what that acronym stands for, so please don't kill me. But uh, but uh, please stop hey, hating guys, the US. It in German, it's called BAP. Maybe you know that, like BAP no. or BAP. It's Bund- the gross. Bundes- like, Wait, uh, it's the gross Bundes- domestic Bundes- product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bundes- GDP, GDP. Bundes- product. On GDP is like gross domestic product. So like it's how much money on average the country makes in a year. Yes. But yeah, aren't sense. like Americans just more wealth British people? What? Sorry. Well, like ah, Americans fuck! I have AIDS. Obviously, uh, <laughs> Do you say I have AIDS. Oh fuck yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> I infected you. What? You fucking asshole! <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh fuck! The fu- the AIDS person is coming. What? AIDS spreader. Yeah, we're, we're playing HD a game. Four K. Yes. You're playing. And we game. have a person with like HIV coronavirus. HIV coronavirus. <laughs> HPV HIV gonorrhea coronavirus 2020. Korea virus. The Korea one. Let's virus. go. Guys, the the Wuhan virus did not start in Wuhan. It started in New York City. New York. Don't haven't you been keeping up to date with the current CCP news? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello, fellow HPV person. <laughs> yes. You better be sorry. The only news I listen to is the Chinese Republic's news. So. The Republic don't of China. Keep up to date. Uh, I like biased news. Secret, secret police will come and Can exterminate you your political descendant tasks. Are you oh, dying of AIDS? A cringe in it. Vote some fix. Hey, like. Like, seriously, oh, fuck. totalitarian countries are fucking scary shit. No. Really, are they? 
I would have never thought about that. <laughs> Lovely. They they are like there's more what the casualties f- from Dude. internal internal bleeding. No. I think we think this up. Yeah. Is more, I think he means financial bleeding. <laughs> yes. more casualties due to internal suppression within communist and fascist societies than there are like cheeseburgers in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> How many cheeseburgers does the average North Korean citizen <laughs> consume? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I have to 360 that. Scusi. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh well. 360 no scope. What? Who's leaving? Yeah, 316. Oh dear. Yeah, no. Oh, the left. Maxwell guy left. I bullied him too much. When the Damn. world needed him most, he vanished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he pulled a scusi on us. Scusi! <laughs> scusi! <laughs> <Shit. laughs> Uno secondi prima. <laughs> Cinque minuti prima <laughs> and uno secondi dopo. Sono un'ora. <laughs> I don't speak French, guys. Come on. It's Italian. <laughs> Neither do I, but it's Italian. And I also don't speak Italian, by the way. But who cares? Guys, yeah. stop speaking Chinese. Jeez. Ching. <laughs> Ching. I can speak Ching. Chinese. Baguette. Wow, that's racist. Wow. I I will get offended. In two uh, minutes, when it's yeah. convenient. Yeah, as a as a black man myself, I'm offended that you spoke Chinese. Are you like black? That. Yes, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> moments. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> it. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're black? Like, come on, that's such a bro moment oh, when you're fuck. black. <laughs> you, I now think you we're have all to black. black. Like every single person protest. is black. Even I find out that I'm black. <laughs> Guess you're you're black. black, I'm black, everyone black is again. black. <laughs> we may tell the blind guy that he's black and he can say the N-word. Oh, wow. Yes, I think it's a it's a good thing that only black people can say the, the N-word. Um, I Why? mean, white can, I mean, everybody theoretically can. <laughs> they can, but they'll, they'll die. <laughs> yeah. It's very oh, interesting shit. what's allowed you have to what's be not. fucking kidding me. I'm gonna head out, I'll be back. Uh, all right. I'll be back. Yes, that's the, the best. Same game. normal guy. So uh, same normal guy. You're an absurdist nihilist. Yeah. And he is Indian. Same. Me too. Oh my god, we're twinning. So quirky. <laughs> how did you? I don't know. Uh, for how long do you know X Orbi now? Oh. The same guy. A month. A month. For a month. Most. How did you discover yeah. him? Yeah, I actually dis- I actually discovered the server first. Then I discovered his video. Oh, that's interesting. How by friend? Some- I was searching some good server like where one would discuss some philosophy, science, whatever. Ah, okay. Yeah, you landed Someone- definitely in the right place. <laughs> I mean, if you saw some of his videos, you already you already know. I saw his first videos after coming in. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still, you know what it's about. Yeah. Yeah, bam! So, uh, please, please, vault. Thank you very much. How bam, did you space. come to know about this? Um, I don't even remember, really. It's probably... Some, I probably dug deep or fell down a rabbit hole, and it's I I don't really know. Somehow, a, probably something about microphysics or quantum physics or whatever. And then oh, his yeah. video got the British guy go. Uh, where where did the British I mean, guy go? Soviet philosophy, go? not quantum. Yeah, yeah, or but guess... still. He's also talking about quantum physics, like teleportation yeah, and that, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Kinda. He's not. Yeah, he's going into the ethics mostly. Like he's going into the philosoph- philosophical yeah. implications of all these things. But I mean, science also started as um, philosophy. Philosophy. 
Yeah. Like I, I think it used kind to be me. natural philosophy before it became science. Indeed, mm, yeah. indeed. So what are we talking about, guys? How we discovered Exorbia. Ah, I see, I see. I don't even remember the first video which I found about Exorbia. It's the hmm. f- freaking YouTube algorithm. Oh, I think it's it was disgusting. a sl- sleep is just death being shy. That must be the first video I saw of him. I Bruh. think it might be. Have you read any of his books? No, I, I, I only read to. the first one. Well, the fifth I've read science. a few of them. Yeah, I've read that too. I, I can highly recommend like the other ones. Yeah, I <laughs> want to read them too. I should. Definitely. I I don't know, but he is like has this like really catchy um kind of writing style and it's like sort of deep. Like I'm fifteen and this is deep. Yeah, he's got the, <laughs> Yeah, like I mean he's got the concepts from his videos basically, but in a story. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of his writing style. It's it's really nice. I, I guess it's it. also catchy because the topics are just very interesting. It's yeah. just an interesting thing to think about. Let's say I don't know, the universe in animals or something. Like yeah, it's the topics basically for his yeah. videos, I guess. Yeah. Man, it feels good I... to be in an yes. I don't know why I was never recommended his video. This YouTube algorithm never recommended me his video. Yes. Because you're like I used to watch Zazak's video I have been watching. Like many other kind of, this kind of videos I used to watch. Mm-hmm. But never really landed in a Exurba's video before coming to Discord. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. But you've been been into this stuff like uh, yeah. for for years, right? Yeah. Okay, then that's really yeah, weird. Yeah, it's YouTube. <laughs> I have to go pee. Oh, but knee has muted himself. Yeah, he went to some. I'll also be right back. Max, PhD, PhD. Where are you from? Yeah, well, I'm from Austria. Austria? Yeah, Austria, like next to Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm aware of that place. Yeah, I'm not too sure if everyone is aware of that, so... I'm just saying it like. I was actually applying there at the University of Vienna. Really? Uh, like the technical or the normal, like uh, Hauptuni? Oh, yeah, there are two. One is Vienna and one is. Uh, no, I was like the normal one. Oh, and uh, well, what did you want to study? Yeah, uh, physics. Ah, uh, like... I see. That's nice. What is... Yeah, like they have one of the best. The I think quantum Austria is one of the best for quantum foundation. Really, is it? Yeah. yeah. I actually have Quite no clear. clue. But I'm I'm starting to study physics, so uh, that gets me hyped, you know. Yeah. yeah. Why for Vienna? Really good place. So for like two and a half for two and a half million dollars, we can fly like five hundred kilograms of payload on a SpaceX uh, rocket. What? Well, you ever thought about building a satellite? Uh, uh, sorry, repeat. Uh, you ever thought about building a satellite? Oh, I thought of building a satellite. Now, why will I? Think about building a satellite. Uh, I don't know, but like we could like book an an, an rocket from SpaceX online. It would only cost like uh, a couple of million dollars. Like five hundred kilograms would be like two and a half million dollars. 
for the payload yeah could be i think maybe those engineers must have thought about yeah maybe not i mean no sometimes like even the british community of people don't go through all alternatives really so it be possible that they might not have i guess gone through many Are you in school right now? Uh, well, I was. So I was in the military until a few months ago, and I'm going to university in like a couple oh. of weeks. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah. So what will you study in university? Hmm. Pardon. Please repeat. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> what will you study oh. in university? I, I didn't understand. Oh. What was the first part? Like what? Uh, what will you study in university? Ah, ah I see. I say I will uh, study engineering physics. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. For I what? For what? 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 Uh, I mean, what's what's the uh, how do you say it? What's the thought behind it? So what's, what is it going to be? What are you able to do when you have a degree in that kind of stuff? Well, obviously being smart and like uh, building billion dollar unicorn companies and selling <laughs> them at a profit um, and, and like starting an Austrian space engine, uh, like space industry. Yeah, I think that that was, sounds good. I think engineering good. physics has both options open. Like they can go idea either for research in academia or also job. Also, they have job options. So uh, yeah, that's true. A lot of do engineering physics. Yeah, I actually want to be like a startup founder or something. That's like the new American dream, I guess. <laughs> Fuck working. I don't like that stuff. Or you can try for like. I think engineering physics has much more scope in academy. Like, in, especially in lot uh, in the areas of experimental physics. Even you can try for CERN or uh, like, especially quantum computing. I think you can try. Like, they have a lot of. That's probably true. There probably is a lot of opportunity there, like in the really high tech field of te uh, engineering and especially if you live in europe only there a lot of uh, i hope so kaiserreich time <laughs> true hitler the erste arbeit macht frei ich mag ihn mm. So my like my ninety percent of classmates have gone to either this Europe or America for their PhDs. Why? Because Europe and America has more opportunities in PhD. Ah, okay, yeah, would make sense. <laughs> I mean, in India, it's like competition, man. It's like throat cut competition. Getting in anything. But India isn't India. I thought India was a really good country to for studying. It is good country to study, but it's very competitive. Ah, okay, I see. So it's yeah, just harder to get, huh? Yeah, like hmm. very no, hard. Nothing. Like okay, like acceptance rate is more always less than one percent. Whew, that's yeah, that's really hard. Like, like we leave school for two years just to like, we skip school for preparing exam. It's crazy how dedicated you have to be. I would have, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I almost, um, uh, how do you, I mean, in Germany, you can't really drop out of school, but only when you're a certain age. Um, I mean, in most countries, it's like that, I believe, but. If I think about my school time and how fucking lazy I was, <laughs> I wouldn't even have like zero 
uh, how, how do you say it in english um, here we don't really drop out we like we are affiliated to school but we won't go to school because we have to prepare for exams and we have to like study a lot lot more than school hmm. school is like elementary kind of thing mm mm-hmm. yeah yeah exactly but yeah for us i mean i believe the the west is just weak when it comes to education because the things we learn it's it's crazy yeah, how but yeah but still yeah, like you have easier. much more opportunities in research and everything so i think maybe this kind of education is not really working i mean in india like europe uh, like even if you have a relaxed way of studying things but still you have better research facilities better way of i mean lot of things better infrastructure so at the end people are able to do stuff yes certainly and here people are wasting time for just preparing for competition uh, uh, and they could have done something else something much better yeah mm the de- yeah always depends on the person then yeah, i mean germany is definitely for example harder than america or at least the school i've been at in canada and in generally just the schools in america seem much easier than the standard i'm used to here in germany but so, i think everything that's even harder than germany like for example i know russia yeah it's like harder and then even harder than that is like india and all asian countries and more um where you even have like in some countries full time school like from morning till evening i think that's just overkill and that's too much for the students yeah yeah exactly i mean like i think the like, rate of students are quite high in our country Yeah, like America is too weak, maybe too easy. Europe is I think just perfect. And then like it, the more east you go, the kind of over more overkill it gets. Yeah. Actually. I mean, obviously Europe is not perfect. Like it has its weaknesses, but still. Um Yeah, but I believe certain things can be learned from them. I mean, like killing the at least this toxic competition could be lessened somehow. Oh my god. I'm in oh. Um bro. I that my couldn't flashlight save you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um it's I mean if you if you look at Germany everybody's complaining about the school system all the time. I mean <laughs> yes, it is it is hard or kind it's I think it's a middle ground. Yeah. it should be considered a healthy middle ground but the way teaching is is pra- uh, practice is just it's just horrible yeah it's definitely not perfect like it being better than something else doesn't mean it's good <laughs> yeah 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 the, and like the, canada the, still has its per- like its perks because canada is while it's definitely easier and you don't learn as much it's like the stress load is less yeah or at least that was the case for me as an, a german student who was used to like how things are in germany but for example the people in canada who go to school there is still like struggle in school which was completely crazy to me because what i uh, compared to what i was used to it was like a breeze and i only had a's but the people who are only used to the canadian system they like struggled in schools and also had bad grades oh maybe it's just perspective yeah yeah i guess what i heard like my host brother like kind of the br- son of the family i lived with in canada mm-hmm. he used to live in england and he also went to like middle school there before they moved to canada and when he came to canada like he was really surprised just as i am and he had a really easy time and then when he got used to the canadian school system he started to become worse and worse because it's just <laughs> so easy that he like became too relaxed and then he yeah. like his grades also started to become bad by the end like by the time i was in canada like his grades weren't that great because he just got too used to it so like e- an easy school system has its perks but it also definitely has its negatives but i guess indian education system has more negatives than positive given the pressure it adds to student 
I mean, um, like every year you'll hear uh, like in your city someone is hanging just because of the pre- exam pressure. Yeah, you have to find a human way to. Oh, I'm stuck. Great yeah. to teach. I mean, here school is not even pressurized. Beyond school, things that pressure. Oh my god! I'm telling you, it's freaking Tinder. Tinder? What is Tinder. it? With Tinder. It's fucking horrifying. It's like what? Um, a slot machine on steroids, fucking around your dopamine levels. <laughs> but it's nice. I mean, it's you basically know, but... all social media. Yeah, I guess so. But it's like with um, it's like with girls, like um, instant food delivery with um, sex. Yes, of course. Um, Tinder is is really toxic in that regard. I mean, Tinder is mainly yeah. about sex, not finding a partner. Yeah. At least in the West. Yeah, but uh, because I of feminism, like want so. To... Fucking feminism. <laughs> I mean, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just like ranting. It's fine. It's tragic that you can say this, that feminism is bad, but it's gotten really bad, yeah. yeah. I, to be honest, I, I don't really care. Terminology. I think it's but all what's, with the, what's with depictions of violence in media? What do you mean? Hold up, I mean, that escalated. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, Violence is considered what's with, cool. What's with our obsession with murder, harming other people, and I mean, all it's of what we've done for centuries. We, we love it's that drama. shit. It's drama. Like, it's easy it's, drama, yeah. especially. I mean, people it's, like that because it's something we've used to. Like, we're primal creatures at our core. I don't see anything yeah. bad with violence. It's something completely normal to me. Yeah, especially if you live in a very competitive life, like it motivates you. <laughs> but when do those depiction, like, where's the boundary? Where's the line? There. What do you mean? Should there this, be a line? I mean, it's it's. I don't think so because it's subjective. Right. Yeah. yeah. And also, especially when you when you look at Saw movies, you know Saw movies, right? Yeah. They have a really hard edge on ethics if it's right to harm people just because they're wrong in that way and it, in that regard i think it has a strong value i think there are much harder problems than what is depicted in movies i think there's much harder problems this i think in priority list this will of come course yeah very just go low rank <laughs> oh the hatch is like down the corridor so that's more i think it's a basic requirement to depict war and harm and you know like that stuff like that it requires struggle yes yeah sword. yeah struggle not not yeah. yeah not specifically war and yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean also nowadays mental struggle, yeah. like nowadays people yeah, even yeah, have actually, an obsession with kind of violent amoral ruthless characters like those who like don't have a conscience like those kind of people people like love them um, to see them in, like, movies or, or shit. Well, yeah. look, at, look at, like, society's obsession with true crime stories. That's, mm, that's like, interesting, yeah. People are obsessed but with... Really, but, so, if you see, society is obsessed with everything. I mean, if you talk about crime, you'll find society obsessed with crime. If you talk about love, society, you'll find society obsessed with love. So, I guess... I mean, you can. I mean, whatever you will choose, you will find that society is obsessed with kind of. I mean, um, I think it's the thrill of it being real. Yeah, I don't know why it's a thrill, but it's, it it is. Yeah, like everyone likes it's some form just, of adrenaline. It, <laughs> it seems as if. The glorified depictions of violence in media Bruh. are not enough for a lot of people. They require something real. Really? Something that really happened. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh... That might be an extension. I'll, I'll give, give you that. But it's like... 
Maybe it's I mean, because yeah. kind of... Have you heard the book Ordinary Men? I heard of it, but I've never read it. I haven't either. I, I read a synopsis. But, uh, it was a story about uh, men... What are they called? Men in the Gestapo. Nazi Gestapo. Yeah. And they were, as the book name might suggest, ordinary men at one point. Mm-hmm. But they were brought up in this culture that glorified all of this, these different horrible acts to the point where it was normalized. That this man who had a family is now dragging pregnant women into a field to get shot. Yeah. Um, well, you have to... The thing is, if you consider ordinary men to be they you have to have a deficit in some in some regard a normal human being living a normal life having a stable mental and physical uh you know having stable mental and physical states wouldn't do that stuff because they could and sh- would um reflect on themselves at some no, point even if it's trying if some try to normalize it but these people have to have deficits it's not humanly possible no nah, you, so. no. you can't make it's humanly possible to for everyone to like yes so you have to into... um yeah. you have like, to make yes like self-reflection is definitely optionally like a dlc and not mandatory Bruh. Yeah. I think there yeah, are like, far definitely. more factors than movies that affect people to do such stuff. There are the far average normal factors. person isn't necessarily like super self-reflective, but more yes. maybe like immature. That's I right. don't know if that's the right word, but so maybe ordinary men is a really good depiction of ordinary men. Yeah, could be probably true. But uh, what's it called? Oh, like uh, und Spiele, blood and and then like bread and games. I, I think. So I think like the drama and violence stuff is quite natural. Yeah. What would it take for you to kill someone? You don't have reason. to answer to me, but uh, I think about that. Like, what circumstances would it take for you to go that far? I don't well, think I can answer that. Yeah, it's and a lot of people can't. It's it's, it's because it's really strange. It's not because yeah. I think it's it's a hard thing to say it's just hard to depict what circumstance has to be established i mean what if you know, somebody's coming to kill your family or something like that then you'll have to do in self-defense right that's a righteous one uh defense of people you love yeah uh, that's a very big one self-defense being another big one a lot of people uh tend to surround the idea around defending themselves well, yeah. you you ever like um, from personal experience? Like um, I have to had had to spend like time in the army, like mandatory service, mm-hmm. and like uh, I think like the on the second day you will get your your assault rifle, it, which is really strange experience. I have to admit because like uh, Europe isn't America and we don't have like a lot of guns here and stuff um, normally. And like you, you actually in your like basic training, you sort of train situations where you are basically using your weapon. And in case something, I guess, mishappens, you are actually trying to kill someone, and you are, or at least harm them, probably lethally. So, for example, like aiming down your sight, and if someone gets back up, you shoot them again. So don't take your gun down too quickly and stuff like that. So in a situation like this, would you consider this like um, self-defense, or is it like, I don't know, um, moral, just? It's subjective to the person. Probably. I fully agree there, yeah. Uh, That's an easy way out of the question. Definitely, uh, yeah. That. But uh, is it moral? Is it just? Well, you can say support the troops. Not just won't. 
You, that's a big thing here in the North America. People say support the troops, support the troops. I mean, it's always support your own country, support security. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. don't make the differentiation between which troops you want to support. Yes. Is it the Taliban troops? <laughs> Is it the American troops? I mean, I think that's, that's already the boundaries are set, I believe. Even without it being said. Yeah, it's, it's without being said. But, like, Keep the pig, by the way. We deem a soldier's actions atrocious or righteous based on the side that he fights for and who ended up winning in the end. Uh, yes. Um, there was... Like, the Vietnam War. If they would have won, and also really fast, that would have benefited politics a whole lot more than what happened. <laughs> yeah. Like, the US was not the victor of the Vietnam War. Definitely no, not, no. And it, following the idea that the victor writes history, like the U.S. really came out with their tail in between their legs out of that situation. <laughs> it it's messy. It was a draw. It's messy, complicated. Yeah. Like if that you want sense. a good Vietnam drama, look up Mickey was here. Look up Brambo. <laughs> Yeah, this is a YouTube series. One of the videos was voiced by uh, Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale. Of course. <laughs> yeah. two, but, uh, two people that worked with Christopher Nolan. <laughs> it's That doesn't well, matter. <laughs> where are you from a whole time? Sorry? Where are where are you from? Volta Oh, I'm uh, Canadian. Ah, Canadian, like yes. the better Americans. Yes, we are the better America. The polite yeah. Americans. <laughs> We're polite on the surface, but we'll backstab you as soon like, as we have the opportunity. The better of Canada, like hearing, like hearing a lot of like school kids. About hearing a lot of news about the dead bodies of school kids. It's uh, um, that's politeness. Sucks. Politeness definitely is a bit more apparent in the country. Like, a lot of those news because well, it, it's it's a survival situation oftentimes out there. If your uh, heating breaks down in the dead middle of winter. Like, you need to be on good terms with your neighbor, or at least someone. Mm. That's, yeah. I mean, is it manipulative, really? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't think, I think so. Think if your neighbor, in like minus 20 Celsius, came to your door in the middle of the night and asked for a warm place to stay, would you consider that manipulative? Um, not if the person is genuine. Right. Yeah, that's uh, w what's what would you define genuity? Like, if you have I mean, friends, just it's not, not the definition. Alone. If it if it is so if I can it spot it. it. I mean, it would repeat depend for me on whether they're useful to me too. Yeah. Like, if I provide some useful something useful to them, then is there like an exchange or is it just one sided? Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Actually. It was the question. Well, uh, Canadians, I guess. Uh, can you repeat your question, Voltec? Oh, I think he's occupied right now. Yeah. Freaking Canadians. <laughs> well, instant hate. <laughs> yeah, you know, a classic Austrian. Instant gossip about Canadians. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I know the history of one classic Austrian guy. Well, but I'm not a painter. I'm an engineering <laughs> physicist, you know? Yes. I'm a humble Too man. Classic. You're a hamburger. 
No, well, I'm an Austrian, not a German. I'm sorry. It's fine. Bratwurst yeah. versus Wiener Schnitzel. But bitte ohne Tunke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that basically is a war crime in Austria. We we don't have like the death penalty, but if you eat your Wiener Schnitzel with Tunke, you will be <laughs> standrechtlich erschossen <laughs> an Ort und Stelle. Hingerichtet. <laughs> Hingerichtet. Yeah, they will put you to the wall and uh, you have to put your head on the, your forehead on the wall and take away your arms so you can't move and then they will shoot you uh, in the head. <laughs> Understandable. That's very polite. Yeah, it's polite. You will even get your own body back. So. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Guys, I'm I'm starting what to, bu fuck? to bullshit. It's freaking horrible. Oh, don't, don't I should go please. to bed. You should, you should reconsider yeah, your on a life decisions. We, we all should. Yeah, I, I'm doing that right now, so it's it's fine. Oh, she's really after me. Oh, I could do dumb tech. You have heard of this place? Oh, no, why? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry? Uh, this one, IQQ Vena, Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information Vienna. I think we can hmm. search for it. This one is a really good place. Uh, look it up. I still, you, you have to elaborate, I don't understand. No, no, I was saying to Mac. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, I I think I don't I haven't heard about it, but like, it sounds really interesting actually because like quantum computing is like really high tech. It's like like awesome. I like that sort of stuff. Uh, stuff. Oh shit! This pig, pig's ass is getting hooped. This Hoop pig loop. axe. Pig eggs. <laughs> right. Pig axe, oh. bro. Okay, I'm, hook I'm unhooking you. Alright, I'm going to care about myself. Oh, no. Don't get yourself hooked. Yeah, I think that's very unhealthy. No, I have another fucking trap. Yes, you do. Shit. Oh wow. It's a Mori. Right, it's a Mori. I forgot. Yeah. Fuck this. Why is the game so dark? Lena got way? heated. Heated. She got. She got heated? Oh my god. Okay, well, she wants to loop me on a safe pallet. Nice. Her brain is not working well, I believe. I would assume. I'm assuming at this point. Yeah, I must um, I need to go to the other side of the map. Because you're near the other box. So let's just yes. hope that these two have the key. Or I'm fucked. In no way, this trap is killing me. Even if I'm being chased by her. That's. Unfortunately, that's good, at least. That's good programming of the game. Yeah, I like it. It's not like insane pressure. No, no. Oh, yes. Yes, she got me. Perfect. That's fair. Oh, it's first hook, so I shouldn't care, really. Oh, no, she's dropping me. Perfect. Oh, she wants to mori me. But. Oh, nice. What kind of mori is that? Hello, Supey. Loop. It's no, shit. it's Supey. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey. yeah, Joey. I met him earlier. Who left? Look, it's oh. so amazing. The Austrian. Oh my god, not that guy again. Voltaic. <laughs> oh, fuck, she found me. You gendered correctly. I approve. <laughs> Oh, perfect. That's epic gamer life. I'll be right back. But guys, um, 
did uh, of all take tell you guys about his uh awesome plan like it's kind of an old plan by now but Voltaic, did you tell them? Um, he's Not currently even. gone, but you can tell us. Oh, okay. So, uh, he was... Uh, planning to throw... His, his... What is it called? With the, uh... The medieval throwing machines. Like... A catapult. Uh, he was planning to catapult uh, puppies into the Great Wall of China to praise the lords to uh, for them to finish COVID. They pull two puppies to Great Wall of China. If we have Did you see something? It's a zombie game. Anyway, bye. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Shady. Shady's back. <laughs> okay. You're like my echo. Am I? Yeah. You're like my echo. It's called the Minion Kong, right? Yes, it is. I'm your tenant echo that comes before you speak. Why is Max alone in another VC? Because he... I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no, no, when someone is new to Discord, they get confused. Amogus. Yeah, Mogus. Mogus is gonna start. For so many days, I was imagining Bresh was a girl. Who? Bresh. 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 Oh, you mean Br thingy? Br this. Oh, um. You mean the profile picture or him yeah, right, himself? Uh, he um, himself. The girl picture. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. But it's a girl, right? Or am I dumb? No, you're correct. No, the, oh, okay. No, no, the, not over the picture. The person. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you've never talked to him, so... Would make sense then. Yeah. Yes. I guess. I mean, even if it's offensive these days to assume gender. <laughs> it's a scoozy moment. Scoozy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so, yeah, I... the engineer is having a mental breakdown, I believe. So he's not coming back like in the next... I don't I know. I think it's new to probably is new to Discord. So maybe uh, I think browsing would be a bit <laughs> confusing. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm rank twelve. I haven't noticed. That's quite convenient. Did Scarlet? Board that is Sorry. Oh, the why is this board guy silent? Um, he apparently doesn't like to talk, so he's just listening, I assume. Uh, uh fucking British. Did you, um, did Scala tell you that she's, um, got her second vaccination? And now she got 
sick, like not because of it, or probably because of it, but not with COVID. Um, and her nose was stuffy, <laughs> and what? her huh? Wait, so did she get COVID? No, but she got vaccinated for it. Oh, and she then got sick. But because I mean, that's... probably her. I mean, that's just like huh? a random disease, and also, like, her immune yeah. system obviously is weakened after getting. Yeah, he, her immune system was occupied with the vaccination, I believe. That's why. Yeah, I mean, that would make it wouldn't make sense. No. And. I was vaccinated. Huh? I also got vaccinated today. How old are you? I'm 24. 24? Oh, that's way older than I would have assumed. Oh. <laughs> How old are you? Are? I am 18 and Bresh is 17. Oh. 70 years old. I'm the oldest. 70 years old. It's 17, eh? <laughs> See, people, just, people are just completing school. Yes, exactly. It's my last year at school now. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeasty, yeasty. Oh, it's Death Slinger. Ah. <laughs> what is it? are planning on next? Hmm? What, what, are you... what you people are planning next? Um, I mean, getting a job. <laughs> and college job or anything. no school was never an option for me <laughs> I mean I'm finishing graphics school um, okay. to get a job as a photographer but that would be it no more school and yeah not yeah no technical school nothing just please <laughs> stop the pain <laughs> School isn't so bad. I'm gonna go to university, like, and to study computer science. Wow. So we got a real nerd on our hands. <laughs> yes. I can beat your ass in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, you can maybe beat my ass in photography. Probably. You can tell me about the golden cuts. <laughs> I don't even know what so that you're is. in UK, right? British guy. Sorry? A British guy. You're in UK, right? Yes, you yes mean I me? am in England. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the uh, admission there? Like, I'm mean, an undergraduate? Wait, but what was you... the question? Uh, I mean, what is the admission like in undergraduate? For UG admissions? Like, how is it like? Uh, who do you mean? I mean the admission. Like, yeah, yeah, like procedure. Do we have to like write SOPs like Americas or like? You oh, have to I mean, exams. I will try to get into an American college. I, oh, I okay. like. I will at least try, and I I will do SATs. But the one I'm oh, probably yeah. like that's the most realistic. Oh shit! I'm dead. Oh, never mind. The one that's the most realistic is probably like, or the best option in Europe is Switzerland. I, I might go to Zurich and you don't even need anything for it, like not even a Teufel. I mean, England has pretty good colleges, right? Yeah, but I'm not actually in, in England. Like, the England thing is just a joke. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's German. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, German is also like Hamburg and uh, what else? Yeah. Hamburg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, oh, you uh, mean Hamburg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some some yeah. I mean, some... in Germany, I'm yeah, aiming for Munich if I'm gonna go to a German college. Ah, Munich, yeah, Munich is. Munich really... is a very good technical university. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I also applied there actually. Oh, nice. For PhD. 
Yeah, I'm gonna apply to Munich, to Zurich, in Switzerland, and also to different American colleges. And also Canadian. That's the one. So how is admission like in Germany? How do they take, I mean, in undergraduate, how do they take the admission? It's pretty straightforward, like you just need good grades and not really much else. Even, I'm not sure how it is exactly in Munich, but for example in Switzerland, so in Zurich, they even like write, you don't submit anything in like portfolios or like letters of recommendation or anything like that, because they will not consider it, like not at all. They won't even look at it, they said, on their website. That like don't consider like don't submit anything that you normally would in America. Like no essays, no nothing. It's pretty different from America. You don't need all that kind of useless paperwork and all those standardized testing. Oh, yeah. One of the Swiss guys told me that they had like very straightforward. It they went directly from school to universities without any procedure in between. Like, uh, I was gone for a second. How dare you? Uh, this is probably going to be my last game. Then I have to go for the night. Oh wow. Just because you have oh. to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm actually going to go watch a TV show with my parents. Like a funny Russian one. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hmm, nice. Someone got downed. That's always nice to hear. Click it, click it. Lena. It's hard to predict the age by the voice, right? What do you mean? I mean, unless and until it's like really a difference. For example, like we can identify if someone is old, 60 or 70 years. We might identify by his voice or his age. Yeah, it's. When you have a high-pitched voice, you can't really... You don't really sound older when you get older. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. What the fuck is the Deathslinger doing? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> like, this guy is... Oh, what the fuck? He's... never mind, I guess he's a god. He actually somehow yeah, go got on. me. Yeah. He do be godlike. He do be god. <laughs> True. <laughs> ah, shit. Hey, I'm fucked. He do be doobie dooba. <laughs> doobie doobie dooba, doobie doobie dooba. Please don't open the gate, please. Okay, thank you very much. The Claudette is I, not. I had some inside. faith in Lena there. And my faith didn't get betrayed. Uh, and he's coming for you, so you might as well mm. open the gate. Because I'm gonna get rescued. Oh, wait. It was the random there who didn't open the gate, okay. Yes. Oh my god, that was close. Oh my god! A mogus moment. A mogus. <laughs> Engineer guy is gone. Yeah. He is uh, confused, I guess. <coughs> it's a weird time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Switzerland. It says Switzerlandish. Oh, we we all got out. That's something to be happy about, I guess. Switzerland. Is there Wait, I can't even leave the group. I have to like force quit DVD or something. <laughs> wow. 
Switzerland has college like EPFL, ATZ. Hmm. Say again. No, 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 no. Searching few. Yeah, I have to alt F4. Um, did he's had he gesagt, dass er leaven wird? Nee. Leute. Ah, ja, yeah, okay. Leute hier lieben anscheinend einfach so. <lacht> cool. <lacht> Not Epic very terms. socialized. Ja, das, man merkt einfach so, das sind exorbitant Zuschauer. <lacht> Hm. Wo habe ich... Alter, ich habe schon 600 Stunden in Kerbal Space Program. Hello there. Are you, are you back? back? Shady's back. back. Why can I hear myself? Can I hear myself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can hear myself. Yes, I can hear myself. Shady's back, 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 back again. Okay. That's all right, right, right. <laughs> all right, but I am now seriously gonna go. So all right. Bye. Have some fun bye bye. philosophical conversations. Yes, yes, so, yes. Um, Scooby! Scooby!